Striker Scorpion 82 is now sponsored by Warhammer Combat Cards, a card battle game featuring your favourite Citadel miniatures from the 40k universe. Build your army decks, dominate opponents in player versus player action, collect and upgrade cards to fit your strategy, improve their power and unlock unique traits. Choose from all 40k factions, take part in campaigns based on iconic 40k battles, rise to the top of the leaderboard and win glory. Free to download and play, link is in the video description below or on the channel homepage and by using the unique link it helps support the channel. Thanks and enjoy the game. Welcome to another episode of Warhammer 40,000. It's 2,000 points. Necrons versus Death Watch Space Marines. Alright, so welcome to this 2,000 points game. Necrons versus Death Watch Space Marines. Uh, so 2,000 points of Necrons here. I'm going to be using the brand new codex uh, that Games Workshop have very kindly sent through. A uh, chance to see the Necrons in action using their new book. So before I run through the list for the Necrons, just mention the Patreons at gold level. That's Alex Steelwall, Andrew Swan, Marcus Anthony, Luke Schengel, Nicholas Lucas, Nathan Scrizzuti, Patrick McPherson, Paul Cook, Will Wright and Zachary Siltonen. Big thanks to them for their support at gold level. Uh, you can check out the end credits for those supporting at silver level and thanks also to those supporting at bronze. Uh, all the proceeds on the Striking Scorpion 82 Patreon page go straight to my local Wargames Club, SS. WG, just a way of saying thank you to them for their support over the years and the funds are used to create new and exciting terrain projects for use in our games. So 2,000 points in Necrons, a fair bit of adjustment, here's plenty of rules changes uh, for the Necrons in their new codex, so a learning curve for sure. Uh, I'm going to run a double patrol detachment here for the Necrons, uh, the Warlord is in one of those patrol detachments, so uh, 10 command points in total here, nice healthy amount for this Necron force. Uh, I used to use Mephrit Dynasty, uh, I'm going to stick with that here. Uh, for the new Codex, Solar Fury is a special rule, uh, so both patrols uh, gaining the benefits of that, which is plus three inches to ranged weapons, uh, and then within half range is a further AP minus one uh, against enemy armour, uh, and then when Vengeful Stars protocol is being used, uh, then you're able to benefit from both of the options uh, from that protocol. So I'll go through all of the HQ choices spread across these two patrols. First is a Scorpec Lord, just down here, one of the new Indomitus models being used. Uh, the Catacomb Command Barge, that's Tamin Ra. Uh, he's going to be, he has to be the Warlord because he's an Overlord model. Uh, War Scythe and Gore's Cannon uh, for him. Uh, the Warlord trait, I'm going to take Merciless Tyrant, one of the new Warlord traits available, plus one strength and an extra attack available for him. Then... Uh, he was in the list, out of the list, because I didn't think it was very good. He's back in again. Uh, and a name change here for this Cryptech. It's a Technomancer here. Uh, I've paid five points to give him the cloak, so he's got that 10-inch move. He can restore wounds. Uh, and the, there's other special rules for him. And the Staff of Light, I've actually taken a relic here. It's the Voltaic Staff. Uh, it's a way better weapon if you're able to take uh, that new relic that's available from the new Necron Codex. 
Uh, then I forgot to add a model when it's the Plasmancer. He's in the list uh, here as well. Then on to troops. Uh, it's, I felt that 10 is too small for Necron Warrior units. So a unit of 14, a unit of 13, just the way the points have worked out. Uh, just with the regular Gauze Blasters. Uh, and then uh, or Gauze Flayers. And then with Gauze Blasters as a unit of 10 Necron Immortals. Uh, then for Elite's choices here. Uh, it is the Scorpec Destroyers, so down here in this corner. Taken as a separate unit, but doesn't take up a slot now, just the way it works out. The new book uh, is a Plasmacite model uh, there as well. Unit of three of the Scorpec Destroyers, again from the Indomitus box set. Uh, a Ghost Arc dedicated transport vehicle has been taken. Uh, and then onto Fast Attack. I've kept the unit of ten Triarch Praetorians. Uh, so they are in the list, quite expensive now for unit of ten, uh, but they are in, and, and then Tomb Blades, they're out of the list, and now they're back in again uh, with their new rules, so six of those uh, taken. I've gone for Twin Gauze Blasters on them this time, uh, Shield Veins as well to give them the 3-plus uh, armor save as well. And then finally, uh, for heavy support, is the Lockhust Destroyers. So six of those, all with cause cannons. That's the list here for the Necrons. It looks healthy enough, uh, but a great experiment here to see how well they perform using their new book. So uh, that's the Necron Force. Uh, Aaron Allen will take command of his Death Watch Space Marines. We'll take a look now and see what he has in his list. All right, so 2,000 points to Death Watch Space Marines here. What we've decided to do, uh, Space Marines have a new codex, but there's no supplement yet for the Death Watch. So it would really disrupt things for Aaron. So what we're going to do uh, is he's going to use uh, his current book and rules, and uh, he will await, will all await with interest uh, for the new supplement for Death Watch Space Marines coming out. It's so just regular rules uh, for these uh, Aaron's going to use here for this force. We'll let him run through his list. Okay, so this is my 2,000 points of Death Watch. It's a battalion detachment. My two HQ slots are a Watchmaster and a Watch Captain Artemis. And then in troops have three units of veterans. There are uh, five Storm Shields in each. Um, and there's a, a Thunder Hammer and two Death Watch Frag Cannons in each squad. Then I have two units of... Uh, aggressors with the uh, auto bolt storm gauntlets and I have a venerable dreadnought with assault cannon and dreadnought close combat weapon then heavy support I have a land raider it has the twin heavy bolter it has a hunter killer missile and the two twin lads cannons then I have in my flyer slots uh, two corvus black stars twin assault cannons hurricane boulders um, Storm Strike missiles and Auspex arrays on both of those, and that's my 2000 points of Death Watch. All right, so 2000 points of uh, Death Watch Space Brains here. I do love the look of this list here. Aaron's uh, finished it off, and it has been entered into the league. Uh, one game has been played, and it has actually been against the Necrons. It's over on the Plus channel, uh, and two games still to go uh, here for. The Death Watch, but we've, it's, it's been a difficult one. Space Marines, they have their new codex, but we're waiting a supplement for these, and it would disrupt things to have some units updated, but other unique units, we don't know what the new stats and rules and so on will be. So we're going to leave things as they are here for these, and it's just a chance to showcase the new Necron codex. But that's the two lists. We'll go on to uh, scenario and deployment now for this battle. All right, so we have a mission here for this battle. Uh, it's randomly determined uh, from the Grand Tournament 2020 book. Strike Force uh, mission here, surround and destroy. Uh, so deployment zone looks like this, uh, with objectives in each of the corners, and then two objectives in no man's land as well. Uh, so deployment zone uh, here, Necrons are going to be at this end. Uh, the dice here marking out uh, their deployment zone, that's 12 inches in. And then marked up by the red dice is Aaron's deployment zone for his Death Watch Space Marines. Uh, objectives on the board then, there's two home objectives for both sides. Uh, one here for the Necrons on the left hand flank. This really is going to be a game uh, of fighting for the corners here in this battle. There's one objective marker just tucked in there, uh, marked by the green marker there for the Necrons. Then we've used the yellow markers here for uh, the two objectives in No Man's Land. Uh, so centre of the table, 10 inches across is that objective. And then this one just here and then the two home objectives for the Necrons you can see it's just tucked over there and then there's another one just tucked in that terrain 
just there. So six objectives here in this game. Uh, so primary objectives take and hold as per usual. If you control uh, one or more objective markers is worth five points, two or more is worth another five, and if you control more than the opponent is worth add another five on top of that. Right, then for secondary objectives, uh, they have been chosen here by both sides. So we're both going to go for the, uh, the secondary objective that is specific to this mission. It's called Surround Them. Four victory points at the end of your command phase. And also at the end of the battle, if you control both objective markers in your deployment zone, so you've got to, got to hold uh, the two home objectives, and one or more objective markers in your opponent's deployment zone, score eight victory points instead if you control all four objective markers that are in deployment zones. So as Necron's got to control their two home objectives, that one and that one, uh, and then they need to try to control one. Uh, if Aaron's objectives to get four points, if they're able to control all four corners, then it's worth uh, a lot of points, eight points available. So we're both going to go for that one. Uh, here, so you, as I mentioned earlier, it's going to force the armies to go out into all four corners of the table, so it should mix up the game uh, nicely for us here in this battle. Uh, and then two more secondaries available for both sides. Aaron's gone for engaging all fronts, which makes sense. That's control of table quarters. Uh, and then grind them down, uh, Aaron's gone for as well. Yeah, so destroying more units than I'm able to destroy, uh, Aaron uh, will pick up points for that secondary. Uh, then uh, for the Necrons, I've gone for bring it down. Aaron has some uh, it's got the land raid and the two flyers, so points available for destroying them. Uh, and then we've gone for one of the unique uh, secondaries now that's available uh, for the Necrons from their new codex. So Battlefield Supremacy, Purge the Vermin uh, here. So two points uh, available at the end of your turn for each table quarter that does not have any enemy units, excluding aircraft, wholly within it. This objective marker cannot be scored in the first battle round. So I really like the idea of that one, as we're fighting in table quarters. Uh, that one uh, is nice and appropriate for this battle. So both sides, I think, uh, nicely set up to pick up plenty of points in this game. We're going to deployment now, start alternating placing units on the board. All right, so just to mention the terrain that we're using in this game uh, and the battle mat, uh, the battle mat is from gamemat.eu, uh, so it rolls out nice and flat, uh, and then we simply place the terrain on top and then uh, to blend it in with some uh, scrub and terrain and some stones uh, just to make it a bit more realistic on the table. So the battle mat's available from gamemat.eu. Uh, some of the terrain here as well, pre-painted terrain available from them. These buildings here, that larger one, the containers across there, uh, all available from gamemat.eu as well. I've been painting them up just adding some layers of paint just to match in with my admec terrain and then also to mention that uh, mdf terrain here this little setup here uh, is from mad gaming terrain.com uh, so you can check them out for mdf terrain uh, and it's all uh, stackable this terrain the roofs come off and you can build up the layers and then uh, the walkway is all magnetized so you can do multiple levels and so on so just a small set here but hoping soon to expand the range here and for this it's called the hab block terrain set so you can check out madgamingterrain.com for your mdf terrain and then also gamemat.eu for your supplies of battle mats and pre-painted terrain all right so deployment is complete for both sides uh, so necron deployment bearing in mind this is table quarters this game that's where the uh, points are going to be picked up so necrons have split into three parts here a central force uh, the plasmansa in amongst the unit of Necron Immortals, and then just tucked behind them closely is the Triarch Praetorians. Over on the right hand flank for the Necrons, uh, the unit of Necron Warriors on this objective, uh, the Ghost Stark, and then the Scorpec Destroyers and Scorpec Lord, just to provide a bit of close combat uh, support. And then over on this flank, uh, a lot of Necron units here. So the Lockhus Destroyers, another large unit of Necron Warriors, Technomancer in amongst them, Tomb Blades, and Tamar Ra on his Catacomb Command Barge. Uh, with them as well. So Necron splitting their arm into three parts. Uh, we'll go around the other side of the board and take a look at deployment here for the Death Watch. So this is the view that Aaron has here and his Death Watch army. Uh, it's kind of again splitting the army up here but a good even spread across the board. Uh, the two flyers are in the corners here. So Corvus Blackstar on this flank. As uh, unit of veterans here just behind them is Watch Captain Artemis. As uh, Land Raiders just positioned here getting ready to move out. Uh, it's one of the units of aggressors just nicely sheltered behind this large building. As the Watchmaster, unit of veterans just in front. Another unit of veterans on the left-hand flank and holding that objective. A unit of aggressors on the extreme left-hand side along the Dreadnought. And then, up, and then the other Corvus Black Star on the extreme left-hand side. So that's deployment for both sides. Both armies deploying on a wide front here, getting ready to move out 
against the enemy. So deployment is complete for both sides. It's down to that moment in the game. We roll off to see who goes first. I think both sides are going to want to go first here to let loose of their initial volley. Both armies have the potential to kick out a lot of shots. Okay, so we're polite. Necrons, we'll let you go first. It's two. It's beatable. If we roll a one. I sense that was coming. Okay, so it's Aaron's choice. I go first, yeah. Surely he must, yeah. We'll go first here. So Necrons, a nice shiny new book. Nice shiny new models. But Aaron will go first here with the Death Watch Space Marines to teach the Necrons a lesson. We'll go on to turn one. Uh, the Imperial forces will move first. So, movement phase complete here for the Death Watch. I'm just round uh, on the Necron side of the table. The two flyers, the two Corvus Black Stars have moved. Uh, just wobbly model here. We've just moved this uh, container down just so Aaron can balance his base. But it's moved across uh, in this direction. That's the one from over in that corner. And then the other one's flown across uh, in this direction and has uh, parked up next to my units just here. So, immediate aggression here with the flyers as per usual. Uh, from the Death Watch. I'll just go around the other side of the board and you can see the movement from uh, his ground-based units. Okay, so uh, the veteran squad's moved up. Just with the rule there, it's five inch vertical, you're still going to count as holding the objective. Uh, the Watch Captain Artemis is on the objective as well. Land Raider has pushed through uh, with that vehicle. Aggressors, this unit here has made an advanced move and has moved around in that direction. Veterans pushing forwards to the Watchmaster. The other unit of veterans has pushed forwards. Uh, the aggressors have made an advanced move and they've reached virtually the middle of the table, halfway across, and they've been supported by the Dreadnought on that flank as well. So aggressive play here from the Space Marines as they take the fight to the Necrons, trying to take advantage of turn one. So we're going to, there's no psychers here. Yeah, just have to do Black Star cluster launchers. Oh, yes. Okay, we'll resolve the damage potentially from the Black Star cluster launchers. So, uh, here into the Immortals. Six is you looking for. This is just the one. This one. All right, so that's a mortal wound. Yep. Taken. Okay, so that unit has finished its attacks against me. Uh, so, I'm going to roll my reanimation protocols now. The rules have changed for this, needing a 5 plus, and nope. So, the model will remain uh, off the board and is now destroyed. So, we'll do this on the destroyers. Yes. Nothing? No fine. Okay, yeah, looking for sixes against uh, those six models. All right, so that's the cluster launchers finished. Okay, so we've seen uh, reanimation protocols. I reckon the way it works here, just trying to get it right with this uh, special rule, so it's only uh, wounds that have been caused, models destroyed and wounds being caused from that round of shooting, not, not all of the models that have been 
you're not constantly rolling up the whole pool of dice the whole time it's just the fresh casualties coming through so that's the way we're going to play it uh, here so movement's done we'll go on to shooting phase next this will be a test of the new reanimation protocols rule we'll go on to Aaron's shooting coming up next ones to hit and wound which has wisdom of the ancients and then their doctrine all uh, right yes aaron's got a doctrine in play here which is reroll ones to wound against troops choices it's going against the necron warriors uh, and there's no minus two hit rolls no for advancing no. because That's of something else advance. relentless advance great okay so aggressors going to offload all they have into the necron warriors yeah, i'm glad i went for a larger squad but we'll see how durable they are so you're rerolling ones for wisdom of the ancients stratagem has been played yeah, that was good. That's well, well worth doing. Okay. So strength four. Strength four, toughness four. So we're looking for uh, force to wind. Uh, okay. Not too bad. Uh, no AP minus on these. You're on. Uh, we're in deficit of doctrine, so um, that is nine. Okay. No minus on the AP. No. no. All right. So we're going to take four up armor saves. So block a few, and then we go. We hold it. Actually, we have to wait until uh, that unit's finished its attacks. Yeah, you have to wait until all the attacks are finished. So we're uh, just letting the aggressors shoot the rest of their weapons. Um, so six rolls coming up a bit later on. So, uh, grenade launchers are a D6 each? Each, yes. That's a really good roll. Another 14. <laughs> 14 shots. Same again, isn't it? Fours, yeah, or threes for hits, three rolling ones. It's a good dice roll. So still, there's the, the pressure remains against the Necrons to try and get the wipeout. Uh, to stop the reanimation protocols from kicking in. And then fours again, re-rolling ones. Incredible, really good. Result here. Uh, that's seven. Okay, I have seven dice here. So four up armor saves. Not too bad at all. Very happy with that result. Uh, so we have a situation with eight slain models. Uh, we that unit's finished its attacks. We now go on to reanimation protocols of five plus. And we've kept two of the models alive. Two of them have reanimated. They've reassembled themselves, uh, but six of them uh, have. Not so six models removed and destroyed. Okay, so the situation looks like this. There's the six slain models. Uh, so I take it the dreadnought's gonna yep. have a go at them as well. This is the uh, assault cannon. Uh, Most of the ancients, yeah, well worth doing. Uh, dreadnought. Two plus ballistic skill, yeah, yeah. could well be. Yep. Three's to wound. Oh. All wounded. Dice from uh, fire. And this is minus two because you devastated a doctrine. Because it's a heavy weapon, exactly right. Six is to save, none. Uh, that unit's anything else to fire from that unit? Yes, there's a storm bolter. In there the storm bolter as well, so we've got those to roll up in just a moment. Okay, uh, roll that. So yeah, Two wounds. Two wounds come through. Uh, minus zero on this one, so four ups past one. So we'll add that one in. So now I'm going to try and go for five ups. And three of them have reassembled and four models slain. So it takes a bite out of the damage. It almost turns into a feel no pain now for Necrons, really. Uh, it's not sure what to think of the new reanimation protocols. Uh, but uh, some of the Necron models are starting to reassemble themselves here with the it's horrific firepower come through. And a great partnership. Uh, forming here, Dregnaught with an infantry unit, Wisdom of the Ancients benefiting both, really seen that combination working really well. Yeah, no, exactly. We're saying in the old rules, uh, there's a chance to just keep restoring models and bringing units back, but now Aaron's re wrecked that unit here, it's going to take a lot of effort. Uh, it's, no, it's going to take units with special abilities to try and start restoring, reassembling uh, models here. So, hmm. it's been a good display from the Death Watch so far. So we'll move on to more shooting. Tons of firepower still to come. So uh, just to mention this point, I have, because it's, it's at the start of the battle round, uh, the protocol that I have in action is the Vengeful Stars. Uh, it's it's Mephrit Dynasty, so you actually get to benefit from both. Uh, so this is going to count 
uh, units that will be able to partake of this is units that are within six inches of any of my character models, which are sort of spread uh, all across the board. Uh, so directive one, each time model in this unit makes a ranged attack, an unmodified wound roll of six, improve the arm penetration characteristic of that attack by one, so a minor benefit. And then also directive number two, each time model in this unit makes a ranged attack that targets unit within half range, uh, there's no benefit uh, of cover for saving throws against those attacks. So continuing on with the shooting, Corvus Black starts going into the destroyers. Yes, a wise choice. So no minus to the hit rolls anymore for moving. So threes for hits. And threes to wound, just toughness five. And no re rolls there. And it's minus two though, isn't it? Yeah, so six minus two. Okay. So uh, five pluses. Okay, so we have a destroyed model and a wound on another. Uh, yeah, Hurricane Bolt is next. Mm -hmm. So something else we're noticing the Necrons, casualties come through uh, and units that are able to restore models back to play are going to be very useful for the Necrons. So there's a number of units or a number of models that can do that for the Necrons. It's well worth uh, trying to include those in your army. Just the one. Uh, toughness five, yeah? Uh, yes. Yeah, just one. Uh, three up. Past. Okay. okay. That unit's finished, it's... Uh, no, it's two missiles. Two missiles, okay. Going into the same unit here. Uh, hmm. It's tempted for use, uh, a command reroll. Re yeah, okay, here it comes. Yep. Gets the hit. Okay. Yeah, and starts the game with a full 12. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, yeah, these are strength hit. <sighs> two wounds, and uh, these are minus four. Because of Devastator, yeah. there's nothing I can do to stop it. Flat three each. Flat. <laughs> okay. Two more models slain. Okay, good shooting. Okay, so another chance to see the new reanimation protocols in action here. Three models slain, uh, but I'm rolling for uh, wounds lost. So I'm actually going to get nine dice because they're three wounds each. I need five pluses. So I'm going to try and reassemble some of these. Try and get at least one of them back if we can. Oh no. That's horrific, trying to use my tower dice for the Necrons. Not a single chrome 5 or a 6 being scored here. So those models are destroyed. That's a, a blow here to the Necrons. Good shooting from the Death Watch. Uh, I knew this would happen. New Codex. Aaron couldn't kill us. <laughs> we'll go on to uh, the next unit to shoot here. Good so far. Really good from the Death Watch. Okay, so uh, rinse and repeat here with the second Corvus Black Star. The potential for a wipeout here to take place. Salt cannon. Salt cannon first. It's good shooting. Good air support here. Head of the main infantry force on foot. Three okay. to wound. Minus two. Five. Five of them. Five pluses. Okay, blocked. Three of them. Uh, and just two wounds caused. So we'll just mark that up with these wound markers. And we'll go for the this model here. Doesn't really matter. Okay, and then... Um Hurricane boulders. And fives and sixes. Three. No minus. Uh, three ups. Oh. So, model slain. And a wound on another. So, like so. We'll just move that model across there. Like so. Meow. Meow. Missiles? Missiles next. Oh, snake eyes. Um, Command reroll has been used. Yeah, what can you I'm do? I'm going to use his Lord of Head Knowledge Warlord Trade once a battle reroll. Ooh. He hates them destroyers. Yep. Got the hit. Got the hit. Okay. Come on now. Oh. oh. No wound. <laughs> okay, we've escaped. The units still alive. Uh, usual, the old rules, Necrons. Could have res resurrected a few models here, but that may well prove difficult. So you've slain a model. Time, yeah. Right, okay. So, uh, three dice. I'll check if it's... Four. I've taken four wounds, so I think it's just models from slain models. I'll just double check. Yeah, it's the combined wounds characteristic of the reassembling models. So that model that's still alive isn't reassembling. Um, so I need three five pluses. Nope, not a chance. Right, so that model's gone. 
Okay, it's got to be done. Aaron has a land raider, and I have two lock cast destroyers remaining. Oh, this is going to hurt. Um, just it's it's very just kind. Be, just yes. Sure I'm going to put everything, everything into them. Yeah. Okay. Try and make a good job of it. It's very yeah. kind of Aaron to show us how the Necron reanimation protocols work. This is uh, um, very gentlemanly. That would be all hit. <sighs> Uh, three, three of them. Minus four. Oh, it's right. You just, everyone carry on watching. I'm just going to look the other way. So, uh, D6. Oh, AP minus four. Yeah, I, I was picked up dice to try and do something, but I can't. Okay. Ooh, one wound cause. His model's still alive. Then you'll auto kill him on the next roll. Yeah, okay. And then the last roll. It needs to be a three. Don't get one or two. Ah. Oh, okay. Blast. That's wipe out. Uh, no, 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 no. So that unit, so you've just... Uh, no, 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 stop. You destroyed the unit. I will just double check the rules again. Yeah. I think it might. I think you probably still get to make that rule. Ooh, I don't know about that. We'll check again the rules. Just try and make sure we get this right here. Yeah, it says you get to make reanimation protocol rolls if the unit has not been destroyed. You have destroyed the unit, so oh, they're gone. Mowed down and cut down. So to be fair, uh, Aaron's firepower's been excellent here, uh, getting the guns in range and in position. Uh, but uh, Necrons have been cut down very quickly here. Right, okay, one Storm Bolter here in range, just about across here against the Necron Warriors. Uh, Hellfire shells, two, as you can see. Um, Reroll one. Yeah, one's the Artemis. The Artemis is nearby. It's one hit and one wound. Because it's two to wound because of the round, yeah, and then I'll uh, we'll take a four up save. Uh, nope, and then a 5 plus to bring that model back. No, alright, model slain. Okay, and that lone shot coming through actually marks the end of the shooting phase here. Flyers have finished, uh, land raiders shot, uh, and then across here, there isn't too much to see. Necron units have hidden themselves. Um, so, the best option, not to rely on reanimation protocols, but to hide. Seems to <laughs> is the best way to limit the damage. But some well-coordinated firepower uh, from uh, the Deathwatch Space Marines has resulted in the annihilation of the Lockhust destroyers and uh, crippling one of the Necron infantry units as well. Uh, turn's not quite finished yet. No charges to take place, I don't think. Uh, but we've got points to work out here if any have been picked up. Uh, and then also morale to resolve as well for the Necrons. Right, so turn's finished. Uh, no morale to worry about here. This unit I've gone for auto pass. I want to try and keep these Necron warriors at least in the fight for a bit longer uh, and I think there's a possibility to start restoring models with the ghost stock I believe we'll, we'll check the rules for that as we go into Necron turn one but uh, Necrons are going to say their blood's boiling but uh, that's not really possible with them uh, but they'll certainly want some revenge here as they react to the aggression from the space marines points picked up uh, Aaron's picked up uh, two points for engaging all fronts uh, and then there's also grind them down. We're not sure if Aaron's going to pick that up yet until the Necrons have finished their turn. But you've wiped out one unit yep. so far. So Necrons need to try and equal or beat that to stop those points from coming through. We're going to turn one now for the Necrons. Okay, so on turn one here for the Necrons. Uh, I just want to cover some of the stuff that happens in the command phase now. Uh, we're starting to notice the Necrons units that are able to restore models back to play uh, are very useful. Uh, so, uh, the Ghost Ark does that. D3 uh, models being restored. So I rolled, uh, I've got two models back onto the Necron Warriors units. That's helpful enough uh, from the Ghost Ark. Uh, then, across here, the Techno... Mansa as well uh, restored a model back to play. It was D3. Uh, warriors could go back, uh, but I've only lost one, so just restore one uh, back to play with that. And then in the command phase as well, Catacomb Command Barge, uh, my will be done, has been put onto the Necron Warriors unit. So that's just some uh, rules kicking off here in the command phase. Uh, a command point has been restored uh, as well. Uh, so we're going to movement now for the Necrons. Okay, so movement's done now for the Necrons. I'm uh, going to try and deal with these flyers if we can. So we haven't really lurched forwards too much. A slight shift over to the left just to get some more shots in. We do actually have a slightly longer range of these. 
uh, plus three inches to our range if the Necron Warriors uh, is lining up some shots potentially against that veteran squad on top of the terrain. Uh, the same here, just tucking forward a little bit more of these. The idea is if the flyers are destroyed, we'll put some shots in that direction with the Tomb Blades. Uh, Tam and Raz moved out and across in this direction. Uh, he can fly, so he can try and charge into this fly here if it survives. Uh, was planning to head up in this direction with the Immortals, but uh, Aaron has a lot of nasty firepower available, so shifted round to our left. Plasmancer has gone along with them. End of the movement phase, didn't roll any 4 pluses to cause mortal wounds uh, with his special ability. Triarch Praetorians have jumped 10, potential charge for them to try and go after this objective and tie up with the Land Raider. Uh, and then across here with the Ghost Targets, moved forward and blocked off, uh, hoping to block off the advance here uh, from Aaron's aggressors. Scorpec Destroyers, Scorpec Lord have pushed forwards. Necron Warriors, I've tucked them right in and can try and preserve and keep them alive and try and restore some more models as they hold on to that home objective. So, movement's done. We'll go on to the shooting phase next for the Necrons coming up here on turn one. So, we'll start with the Plasmancer. He's going to put his uh, Plasmic Lance into the flyer. D3 shots. Three shots. A good start. Uh, looking for fours for hits because you're in flight mode. Yep. We've hit once. Uh, strength seven, toughness seven. So fours for a wound. It does wound. It's AP minus. This is a dynasty unit. It's AP minus four. Okay. And it's two damage. So it drops down to. Let's knock that down to 11 wounds remaining. So we've chipped off a couple of wounds from the Corvus Black Star. So uh, find Gauze Blasters next from the Immortals. Uh, it's 18 shots. There's nine models remaining. So looking for fours. Yeah. So we'll just take away all of those. So we've hit with about half. Five to wound, strength five. Oh please. Just one. AP minus two becomes AP minus three because of Mephrit Dynasty. Um so six up. And Aaron what an insult to us, he's rolled a 6. Okay, so zero damage coming from the Immortals here. Bit of a contrast to uh, the Death Watch firepower. We'll press on, we'll not give up here. Uh, small Necron firepower to come. Okay, so we'll fire the Triarch Praetorians. They're hard to see, they're just over here. Uh, their particle uh, casters are now pistol 2. So 20 shots from there. I'm going to go into the flyer. Then fours. So I'll roll that one as a cock dice. Um, so we'll just take away those. And those. The thing I had forgotten to do with the Necron Warriors earlier on when they were taking casualties, uh, and that was reroll ones for their reanimation protocol rolls. So I have to remember that next time. Um, so, uh, looking for five to wind. So, it's three. Uh, they're not a dynasty unit, so it's going to be no bonus, no further minus one, so it's just normal saves. One's made it through, so dropping down uh, to ten wounds remaining, just mark that with a zero just to represent ten. Okay, so next we'll fire the relic, the voltaic stuff, uh, just here. It's going to go across against this flyer. Um, so, force for hits. One hit, six is pop, extra two hits, so three hits come through. Uh, five to wound, it's strength six. Oh wow, okay, so two wounds have made it through. Uh, it's going to be AP minus two, so it's uh, fives. Oh, we've got one, okay, that's actually two damage. So another two wounds caused, dropping down to, to eight. There's still some way to go, but the flyer is taking uh, some damage here. Okay, so uh, Tomb Blades next. 24 shots, because we're using uh, six models all equipped with the Twin Gauze Blasters, Rapid Fire 2 in half range, so uh, popping the extra shots. Um, so range 30, half range, range 15, so it's going to be AP minus 3 as well with these. So, fours for hits, though. So, just take those ones away. That's not too bad at all. And then it's going to be five to wounds. This is the the crucial roll here. Two have made it through so far. Five have made it through. So five saves at six up. Oh. None. All right. Five wounds caused. Dropping to uh, nine. Nine. Nine wounds left. All right. Next, uh, the Necron Warriors. I, I'm going to go across here. Twenty-six shots into the Corvus Black Star. Uh, plus one to hit rolls. It's going to be threes. Will be hits. So we'll just take away the ones and twos. 
Yeah, that plus one to hit rolls. That's my will be done coming from from the catacomb command bar. Just helped out. Uh, five swoons. Ouch. Yeah, not bad at all. Five, six, seven. Uh, it's AP minus uh, one, and then a further minus one for Mephrit Dynasty. So, uh, it's all we've something else going on here actually. Yeah, just remembering our protocol. Uh, six is to wound is a further AP minus one. Uh, so those four are going to be AP minus three. Okay. So you have none of those. Okay, and then, and then three. two, three more saves at five plus. Save okay. two of them. All right. So uh, five wounds in total caused. So dropping down to four left. Yeah, it's in a sorry state now, but it's taken a lot of Necron firepower to grind this fly down. All right, so uh, we'll go for shots across here uh, into the Corvus Black Star from Temen Ra. So looking for threes, uh, fives to wound. This is with the Gauze Cannon. One's made it through. Uh, it's going to be AP minus four because we're in half range. So D3 damage, and it's just a wound being caused. Um, I'll come on reroll that one. Come on reroll the damage roll. Uh, yeah, it's a two wounds caused. So. Dropping down to six wounds left on the Corvus Blackstar. Yeah, okay, so I've got my shots lined up here from the Ghost Star. Going to go into the Aggressors. Uh, 20 shots from the two cores of Flare Arrays. I reckon that the Protocol of the Vengeful Stars, uh, it's... You have to have the Noble on the table, which is uh, the Catacomb Command Barge, but then that ability is then passed on to all the characters. So we've got a Scorpec Lord here within six inches. So I reckon any sixes to wound... Or them get an extra AP minus one. So we'll roll up our hits first of all, need threes. Here, so I'll just take away the ones that have failed. And your toughness five, probably. Yeah, five's to wound. Toughness has protected you to some degree. Uh, so AP minus two on that one, because of Mephrit Dynasty. Okay. No. And then AP minus three because of Mephrit Dynasty plus uh, the protocol of the Vengeful Stars. Uh, right, I'm gonna CP reroll the original, this one here. Yeah. Right, gotcha. Okay. I'll try that. So no, that doesn't. Doesn't help. Okay. Okay, and then three. Uh, no. All right. So, so model are... slain. Okay. Uh, Scorpec Lord here is gonna fire his Enmitic Annihilator. So two, three, sh two, three shots. Three shots, uh, and in twos, they've all hit. Uh, threes to wound, none, none have wounded. Okay, so uh, just check if there's any rules to help him out. No, okay, so uh, no wounds coming through. I don't think there's any other shooting. Necron warriors are just tucked away so they can't see. So shooting phase is finished. Charges potentially, yes, for the Necrons. We're going to charges, maybe some overwatch next. Okay, so charges have taken place here for the Necrons, so uh, no problem charging in with the Catacomb Command Barge, Tamra. Uh, so difficult choice here, ended up going against the Land Raider just for tactical purposes, didn't want Aaron to control more objectives than me at the start of his next turn, so I've gone after that with the Triarch Praetorians, it means it has left uh, this Corvus Black Star with no one to attack it, and Aaron's going to be free to move off with that, but so we've tried to play tactically instead, and I've gone after the Land Raider with the Triarch Praetorians. So, charge is done, as we'll, it's the start of the fight phase. I'm going to roll up to see if we can cause some mortal wounds. Aaron is within six inches uh, here of the Plasmancer. So, one dice, four plus. Yes, he does get it. So knocking Aaron down to five wounds. Every little helps here. Uh, so uh, charging units then. Uh, we'll fight with either the Triarch Praetorians or uh, Temen Ra. All right, so four attacks now for Katakumi Command Barge. Then plus one attack because of my Warlord trait. We're on plus one strength as well. Uh, so twos to hit. So they've all hit except one. That should be enough here. We'll go for threes to wound because it's strength seven. Strength eight, toughness seven done it that's all we need uh it's ap minus four mm -hmm. and two damage a time so four wounds left okay. target destroyed and aaron can roll up here to see if he detonates he doesn't all right so uh corvus black star has been brought down okay so next is the triarch praetorians there's nine models They're actually going to get four attacks each uh here with the particle casters and void blades uh we've played judgment of the triarch so plus one to their hit rolls so this is half the dice need twos 
Surely not. Yes, it's all of them. Five's to wind. Because it's strength, five toughness, eight. That's not too bad. That's not so good at all. Okay, so we're on four. At AP minus three. So Aaron will still get five plus armor saves here. Neons, four wounds stripped away, and then we'll go again with the other half of the dice. So looking for twos. A couple haven't made it through. There's a few. And then now a chance to try and get fives. Really struggling to get fives and sixes with these tower dice. Two. None. All right. So six wounds in total. Not too bad for the Triumph Praetorians. Uh, but that's their combat resolved. Okay. So Aaron gets six attacks. Two hits. Two hits on sixes. Uh, yeah. It's going to be strength eight. Threes to wound. Twins. And three up armor saves. Pass, just about. Okay, so we've jumped out of the way as the uh, driver tries to run over one of the Triumph Praetorians. Just noticing here with the Necrons in the book, uh, a lot of the multi wound units are all living metal now, so they're all auto restoring wounds. It hasn't really impacted this turn, but uh, well worth bearing in mind for future turns. Okay, so turn is finished here for the Necrons. Uh, it's denied, we've wiped out a unit, so it's denied Aaron the uh, grinds them down. Uh, we don't get our Slay the Vermin, Purge the Vermin. Uh, no. Because it's turn one. We're not allowed to have it on turn one. No primaries picked up either. Core was brought down though, so bring it down. Has been scored here by the Necrons, so some points being picked up for that. Uh, and then the Surround Them secondary for the mission here. Neither of us have captured enemy objectives whilst holding both of our home objectives as well. So, turn is finished. Uh, tactically and points-wise, both armies are looking quite even at this stage. Damage has been caused, I think, uh, the Death Watch are ahead with the damage that they've caused. And it looks set to continue the fight here against the Necrons. We'll go on to turn two now for the Space Marines. Alright, so turn two here for the Death Watch Space Marines. Uh, first of all, primary objectives being picked up. Uh, Aaron controls two. This one, and then this one here, so 10 points scored. So a nice healthy amount of points coming through. Uh, movement then, uh, we'll cover the flyer. It's uh, gone into hover mode and swung around in this direction with five wounds remaining. Uh, aggressors have ad advanced again with these, pushing up onto this middle objective. Uh, a veteran squad and the watchmaster, so real strong position now on this objective in no man's land. Uh, holding back with this veteran squad, hold on to the home objective, which looks very safe at this point uh, in the game. Uh, and then over on this left hand flank, uh, both of these units, the Dreadnought and the Aggressors, making regular moves forwards, uh, ready to shoot and then potentially charge into the Ghost Stark. Uh, and then remaining in close combat with the land raid, if Aaron pulls out, uh, he'll not be able to shoot, so he's going to stay where he is and try and blow some of the Triumph Praetorians away. Veteran squad happy to sit on top here and to hold this home objective. And then you can see uh, the Watchmaster as well, or uh, Captain, uh, Watch Captain Artemis holding on to the objective as well. There's so many objectives in this game, and the importance of two home objectives is forcing Aaron to keep a number of units back whilst others go forwards. In fact, if Aaron's able to hold even in this kind of formation, and hold and control most of the objectives on the board, that'll put them into a very strong position. The Necrons will be forced to try and drive them back. That's movement done. Uh, no psychic phase. We'll go on to uh, the shooting phase next for the Death Watch Space Marines. So uh, Aaron getting ready to shoot here. Uh, just whilst he is lining up his shots here, if you like the way the Necrons are painted, uh, there is a painting tutorial for them uh, on over on the YouTube or here on the YouTube channel. Uh, and then also I've done a new painting tutorial as well uh, for the Indomitus box set. And I'll show you from start to finish how to paint up the Scorpec Lord in my Necron colour scheme. Very straightforward process for painting those up to get some nice effective results. Necron's a great army uh, for those getting into Warhammer 40,000 and those perhaps with a limited uh, skill set for painting. It's a great army to uh, as an introduction. Uh, it's very straightforward and you can come up with some great colour schemes here. But uh, you can see the whole army sort of painted with the same colour scheme. That means you can field an army uh, very quickly uh, compared to other factions. But we're going to shooting phase now. Let Aaron uh, line up his units and shoot for the second time against the Necrons. Alright, so we'll start with the Land Raider uh, firing into the Triarch Praetorians. 
Um, I'll just I'll put Wisdom of the Ancients on the Dreadnought because I have to do it at the start of the phase. Yeah, great. Okay, fine. Nice. Yes. Okay. Okay, so last cannons. Oh, dear. Mm, just the one. Okay. When it goes through, I do get a chance to try and save this on a six. No. And just don't roll a one. For damage. Got it. Alright, it's another trap. Praetorian picked off. Now yeah, I'll take away this one. One that's furthest away from the objective. So one model slain. Uh, heavy bolter. These will be at AP. Oh, this is a heavy weapon, sorry. Yeah, yeah carry on. Uh, so, who opens are minus one? Shooting into combat, aren't they? Yes, true, yep. Uh, they're not troops, so that's a wild one. One wound at minus one. Failed, so it's a wound caused. And then a storm bolter. Four shots. Threes. Oh, that's not a heavy weapon. Uh, so, it's not a heavy weapon. Yeah. So, a wound. Oh, it's enough to destroy a model again. So that unit's finished firing at those. Yeah. So I'm going to get four dice, need fives. Yes, it's worked. All right, so we've kept one of them alive. Uh, one of the models is reassembled. So uh, I've just kept that model on, and I've kept the casualties at one because restored, reassembled models don't count towards morale. Okay, I think we've got it now. All right, so uh, next sh bit of shooting. Okay, so Corvus Black Star is going to go into the... Destroyers, not all the models within three inches of this almost got cover, uh, but not quite, so no cover save available. Uh, so counts. You on a bracket of this? I am, so it's fours, but I reroll ones because they cannot fly. Okay. okay. So I'm just taking away the threes, there's a good number of those. Okay, so that's the ones that are wounded or hit. I'm looking for wounds of three plus. Okay, so that's five minus one. Okay. Okay, so I'll take the hits on one of the regular models. Um, so four ups. And it's enough to bring one of them down. Um mm, tricky stuff. Oh boy. Yes, this is very painful. This is I love the score pack destroyers. Uh, I'm thinking about doing a command rear on one of those just to try and keep you alive. It's a 50 50 just to keep you on a wound, but Aaron's still got more firepower to come in against them. So I will command rear on it. <laughs> 50 50 chance, 4 plus. No, alright, so that's that command point gone. And we'll remove that model from play. Unless I roll. I don't know, I've got to wait. There's a pool of dice. So that's, it sits there at the moment because Aaron's got more firepower to come. So Hurricane Bolter's next or the rockets available. Do the Hurricane Bolter's. Okay. Uh, one. One's against the ground target, yeah. Didn't help and fives for wounds. Just the one. Three up save or four up save past that time on a five. Missiles. Uh, I'll use a CP on that. Yes. Nope. No, okay. okay. So, uh, this is going to be threes. Yep. Got it. So, it is minus three. Okay. I'll take that on the plasma site model. So, he'll tank it. Save minus three. He's got a four up save, so he's gone. Okay. So, now I've got four dice in my pool. And then I'm going to try and roll five pluses. If I roll really well, I can restore that model. If I roll badly and at least get one five plus, I can put the plasma site back on. I've rolled terribly. I've lost everything. <laughs> okay, so they're gone. Uh, so I've got two casualties, uh, but two of the destroyers remain. But uh, Aaron swung around and gone after those. That's a good tactical choice. Uh, score back destroyers uh, taking some damage. Okay, so Grass is next. Two of them are left. They're going to offload all that they have into uh, the Ghost Stark here. I'm hoping this thing can survive. Let's try and continue blocking Aaron's path through. We'll see. You may well try and charge the Ghost Stark as well. Rerolling ones because of Wisdom of the Engines. Yes. Okay, so hit. Yeah, Venerable Dreadnought. I've said it already. Venerable Dreadnought playing Wisdom of the Ancients with friendly units nearby is a great combo. Okay, so that is just three. And 
There's a minus on this. Okay. Uh, so four up saves. No. Okay, so three wounds taken. Yeah, it is a minus one. It's uh, rapid fire and assault weapons. Uh, so uh, 2d6 shots with the launchers. Uh, yep. Eight shots. It's good shooting it. Five sword wounds. And it's minus one, so five up, save one, another two wounds taken, it's dropping down to nine. Wounds been stripped away here. Ghost Stark, I think, is in trouble. That's the aggressor's finished. Um, Venerable Dreadnought. Venerable Dreadnought. So cannon. Reroll the ones because of himself. All hit. Fours for wounds. Four. Four, yeah. And minus one. Five ups. Plus two. So dropping down to seven. Okay. And a storm boulder from him as well. Five swoons. Nothing. None okay. from the storm bolts. Okay. But uh, pretty effective firepower. Uh, Ghost Stark is uh, half destroyed. 14 wounds down to seven. Okay, so veteran squad. Plenty of them can see through to the Ghost Stark. The front part of it here in this big arch that sticks up has meant there and can target uh, the Ghost Stark here. I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to destroy the Ghost Stark and then go for the charge and try and take up my destroyers. Ah, oh, dear. You meant to let the Necrons win? It's new, new codex. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, yep. Reroll ones because of the... Watchmaster, yep. So all hit. These are strength seven. So threes. Uh, two. Go through, add minus two. Minus two. We'll take a five plus inv on the save now for quantum shielding. Failed. Flat to each. To each, right. Oh, ouch. Down to three wounds left. Okay, interesting. Uh, so... Uh, Tempest Shells is going to be used on one of the models. And the rest are going to fire the Vengeance rounds to try and finish this vehicle off. Three wounds required. Chances of mortal wounds here. Threes for a hit. This is just the stratagem being used. Gets the hit. So D3 mortal wounds. Five or six should destroy this thing. <sighs> one mortal wound caused. Okay, it's helped. But two wounds remain. Okay. This Ghost Star could... Maybe survive here so then we have uh storm boulders yes okay re-roll the one actually re-roll the two as well because of him three hits um this is going to be fives and sixes got one one so this is minus three okay Okay, five up in one save. Damage? Uh, just one. <gasps> Passed. Okay. So, we're remaining on two wounds. All right, it's so now the Watchmaster. His weapon's damaged too. Yep. I'm not safe yet. Here it comes. re roll because I'm soft. <gasps> that is a hit, I believe. Yes, yeah, surely. Yeah, surely he's blessed. It's got two plus. And then fives. This is a big roll here. Oh, he's got a six. AP minus something. Yeah. Aaron's gonna check. I'm gonna roll the dice here. AP minus one, um, which is improved by another minus one because it's tactical, so two. Five up in one. Oh no! And I used my command reroll already on something yeah. silly earlier on. Yeah. Okay. So destroyed. There is a stratagem for the Necrons now where you can automatically explode this, but uh, we'll maybe save that. If you want to shoot that off? That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, we'll we'll save it for another time. Uh, so, oh, it's okay, roll a one. All right, but target destroyed. Good play. So the, the loss of that vehicle has really opened things up here. As uh, so Aaron could go, maybe for a charge here with the crashes, they are equipped with those uh, gauntlets. So, uh, firepower. It's most of it's done now. Yeah, it's this squad on top. They might be in range here of some of these Necron units. We'll see. Sixteen shots of the Storm Bolters kicking out a nice lot of firepower here, and they'll be on twos to wound when these hits come through. Rerolling ones for Artemis nearby. Drop two just. Brilliant. Really good. Two to wound. 
So many dice they're uh, stacking up on top of each other. Because of the fact that they're trips. That's everything. So that's three, six, nine, twelve, eight, fourteen. Fourteen. There is a minus on these. Minus one. Five ups. Oh, wow. <laughs> Not bad. Finally, the five ups start to flow through. Is there any more shooting from that unit? Yeah. Right, so I'll just push those dice to the side for now. I've lost seven models out of that squad. Okay, so this is the shell round. Frag cannons. I think technically I should remove models as we go along, so I'll take seven away. So Aaron can continue rolling up, I'll take away. Like so. More at minus two. Uh, sixes. Found. We'll remove the models. I don't know if that makes any. Yeah, because you, you have to sort of d deploy them back around the unit, so uh, I think we're doing it correctly. Uh, that's marked with there. I will be done, which still continues. Uh, so, total casualties then is n nine. So, that unit's finished firing at them. Yeah. Yeah. So now I'm going to try and roll five pluses. Why well, it's escaped me again? None apart from just that one six. So we'll put that model back into the squad like so. But all those models are removed. That's deadly. Okay, so shooting's finished. And Aaron says he's going to go for the charge here. Two aggressors are going to try and go into the Scorpec Lord. So we wish him all the best as he makes the charge. I'm not going to overwatch. Just double check my range there. Yeah, nine inch charge will do it. It's a long way to go, but it's... Doable on a double six. <laughs> Praise the Emperor. Okay, so they move when they need to. Yeah, we'll just throw them in. We've got ourselves a combat here. Uh, and the ongoing melee here. Necron saw relish the chance to put some more wounds uh, onto the land raider. Okay, so charge taking place. There is a stratagem for the Necrons, uh, a new stratagem. It's called Enslaved Protectors. I could uh, get these to heroically intervene on behalf of him. But as uh, ninth edition, I believe you can fight against heroically intervening units. I don't want Aaron turning on these and causing further damage. I think he can stand up for himself. So we'll, we'll let the Scorpec Lord fight on, leave the destroyers where they are. Any other charges anywhere else? Just looking around, no. So don't think so. No. All right. So uh, we'll let Aaron resolve this combat here with the aggressors. Which means that I add one to their wind rolls against HQ units. Nice. Progratus. Doctrine. Okay. Yeah. Play it. Here it comes. That costs two. It could well help out here. So it is seven attacks. Yep, the sergeant and the regular squad member on the charge for Space Marines. Here we go. Okay. Uh, they are minus one. They are minus one, yes. No, it's two to win. Two's to win, though. Um, Come on, reroll. <laughs> Here it comes. It's a cocktail. It's balancing there on top of two stones. No, okay. okay. So three wounds, minus three. Simple four plus in one save. What's the damage going to be on this? D3. 2d3 could kill me. I have to command reroll this one. So here comes the command reroll. Passed. Oof. And the damage is three. Okay, so maxing out with that one. Just for interest's sake, what would the second roll have been? A three. <gasps> okay. And maybe you'll never realise how close he was to, to death. Okay, so we've survived now. Uh, we'll get to fight back. So, But first of all, we'll pick a combat. We may as well do the Triarch Praetorians, uh, just in case the Land Raider manages to run over one of these models. Okay, so here's all these attacks here. Uh, I've got eight models fighting, four attacks each, and then we've played Judgment of the Triarch against only one command point. Just want to keep them hitting at a good rate. And it's bound to help out here. Just going to remove the ones. Just the two. Fives to wound here. I'm rolling them in clusters. And there's, there's some coming through. Looking about average, there's four, six, eight, ten, eleven wounds at minus three. 
Track Praetorian is not too bad for grinding down vehicles. Five to save. Block four. Uh, two, four, six, seven wins down to three. Seven wins down to three. Okay, good work for the Triumph Praetorians. They've done well. Okay, so uh, it's now we'll fight with the Scorpec Log. A chance to see how well he can perform. So I could start a new channel for Necrons. Striking Scorpec 82. <laughs> <laughs> no, maybe not. Okay, um, so he has uh, four attacks for him. So four attacks. Minus one to the hit rolls uh, for using the Hyperphase Harvester. So it will be threes for hits. I get three roll ones for hardwired for destruction. So I've got four hits, uh, and then it's going to be threes to win because of strength eight, toughness five. And that should do it because it's AP minus four and three damage. Yeah. So they're gone. Okay, so Scorpic Lord shows them who's boss here. Okay, so uh, the consolidation move made with him is pushed forwards. And a little bit of a bounce back for the Necrons here. Hidden away, they've repulsed this initial attack. As Aaron playing the mission, he's trying to clear this objective away uh, to try and snatch this from the Necrons. He's got the, the might to do it. There's plenty of units around here. So Necrons will need to be careful about what they decide to do next as they desperately try and cling on to this objective on this side. So... As Land Raider. Yeah, it's one attack. One attack, nine to six. He gets. <laughs> uh, he doesn't. doesn't wound, no, no, because it's strength, fate, toughness, five. Okay, so that's it. Turn's finished. All right, points to rake in now and morale to resolve. All right, so morale issues here. No problem for these units. Had to do uh, auto pass morale again. This is causing a bit of an, an issue now for Necrons. The large units, uh, when it comes to morale uh, tests being taken. Um, so that's something to bear in mind for future army builds. And points being picked up then. So two units wiped out. We'll remember that tally uh, for Aaron. We've grind them down. Then. Um, I've got a gauge in all fronts again for two. Because I've got three table quarters. Yes, okay, and aircraft count? Yep. Okay, excellent. And then we're still working towards trying to surround them. Surround them Hasn't got this one. Them, yep, all right, so all sorts of out points picked up here. Not not a massive surge ahead here. Chance for the Necrons to try and catch up for sure. Uh, we'll go on to their turn two next. So we are on turn two movement here for the Necrons. Uh, Purge the Vermin is actually pretty good. It's two points at the end of your turn for each table quarter. So that's crazy amount of points potentially. Uh, it's 
just can't pick up too many points at the moment. Uh, well, excluding aircraft, so there's, there's maybe this table called two. We'll have to measure up. Uh, this one here, the Necrons have for sure, and they're going to try and go after this table quarter. Uh, and bearing the, bearing in mind the surround them uh, secondary and the main mission here as well in this game, ten points picked up for objectives being held. Uh, both holding three each. That's uh, ten points picked up. Uh, they will be done. Cast onto the Necron Immortals. As uh, he used his ability to restore D3. Uh, I used a stratagem to use that power again, but it was 2D3 rolled, but it was two ones, so two models restored. I've backed them off out of range. Don't want them taking any more casualties. Uh, Tomb Blades have swung across. Uh, it's the protocol's given us an extra plus one to our movement here, um, so an extra inch uh, being added onto a number of these units. Uh, it's Terraz shifted forwards, remaining close combat with the Triumph Praetorians. Uh, Plasmancer and Immortals have pushed forwards, uh, moving around. And then uh, Living Metal Wound restored on here, so back up to four wounds remaining. Necron Warriors sitting where they are on the objective, just going to try and survive and hold out for as long as possible. And then I've sent in the Destroyers to go after the Dreadnought. That's movement done. Uh, shooting phase next. So harboring of destruction at end of the movement phase. Two mortal wounds caused. You reckon it can still go ahead whilst in close combat. So land raiders now down to one wound left. Okay, so uh, I may as well at this point. I'll fire the Triarch Praetorians in with their pistols. Uh, so it's actually going to be 16 shots. Because they're now pistol two with their particle casters. So threes. It's an AP minus here, but we could do this. Fives to wound. Yes, we'll ask a question of this land raider. Three saves of two plus. Oh, past the armor holds. Okay, well done. Tamara's going to fire across. Aaron's in hover mode. Yeah, so twos for hits. Fives for wounds. Got one. Uh, strength six, toughness seven. Yeah, so one makes it through. AP minus three, so six up save. And D3, Aaron's tempted to maybe. Come on, reroll. Uh, what's the damage? D3. D3. He's half tempted. Uh, <laughs> what's the AP on his weapon? AP minus one for shooting, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, no, that's fine, go ahead. D3. Two. Alright, drops to three. Three wounds remain in the Corvus Black Star. Uh, so, Immortals, eight shots. Uh, my will be done on them. So, on twos to hit, we'll go after the. They're nicely in range uh, of the veteran squad. Uh, minus one because of. The cover? the cover? Right, so minus one, plus one, so on threes. And. Three to wound. That's the situation. Three have made it through. AP minus two. But uh, Aaron will tank this on. Invent saves it. Pass the ball. Okay, so uh, good play. The storm shields holding. Two net warriors in range. Range 27 from Effort Dynasty. Two hits. Two wounds. Minus one. So in one saves here. Passed and passed again. Fire across here. Might be able to bring this down. 2d3 shots. No, we're not going to do it. Two's to hit. Five's to wound. A wound caused. Minus one. No, okay, drops to two here on the Corvus Black Star. Okay, so uh, we'll fire the Tomb Blades. They're going to go across here against the Flyer. Twelve shots. Need threes, because Aaron's in flight mode. Good rolling here. And then it's going to be uh, five to wind. It's typical. I need to be a tight finish. Uh, AP minus two. Two five ups. It's a fair chance you'll survive. <laughs> of course you will. <laughs> Five and six. Oh dear. Brilliant. Okay. Well played. Swap, swap dice, maybe. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Tower dice. There's something wrong with them. Okay. So, uh, I know what it is. You use these when you play Death Guard and you've used up all the fives and sixes. Yeah. With your disgustingly resilient rolls. Okay. So, I'm just left with ones, twos, threes, and fours. Struggling here with Necron firepower. And I think that's our firepower actually complete just looking around the board 
Yeah, okay. Once the destroyers are gone, noticing it for the Necrons, uh, firepower is pretty tame, so it's something to bear in mind for future list building as well. Learning a lot here in this game, learning the hard way, I think. We'll go on to charges uh, next. There are some charges available here for the Necrons. All right, so charges taking place, of course, they've made it in, the destroyers. Uh, attempts to get a large unit of those, unit of three. There's only two of them at the moment. Um, so we'll attack with uh, one of them, Scorpec Destroyer, equipped with the Hyperphase Reap Blade. So this is going to be three attacks. Each time model in this unit makes an attack, it's reroll hit rolls of one for hardwired destruction. So threes to hit, rerolling ones. They will hit. Strength is strength seven. So that's going to be... Fours. You're tough to seven? Yep. Okay. Fours to wound. We've got to, and I think command reroll is worth going for here. So we'll try and roll four plus. Got it. It's AP minus four. Okay. And it's damage three. Yuck. Okay. Um, well, so do you have an invon save? No, it's my um, unyielding ancient. And not a two-up armor save? Not a two up one or no. No, alright, so uh, it's just going to be the uh, feel no pain. Yes, yeah, so it's nine dice, Dean's sixes. Yeah, he's dead. Dragnaught's been uh, hacked down very quickly. Explode. He, he does. does. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and uh, D3? Never. No, alright, so one wound caused. Yeah, Aaron's just rolling to attack the Land Raider here. This combat's been resolved. I could maybe push them. It's, I, I'm going to tuck them forwards. We may as well. They're going to be shot to pieces, but so we may as well just go a bit more aggressive with them. Uh, so, Triarch Praetorians now fighting away. They do get tons of attacks. We're just looking for one wound here. So, I'm going to do. Uh, I'm just going to do 20. I'll roll some more if we need to. It's not going to play the stratagem. I don't think we need to. So we'll take that away. Take those away. And just simply looking for a few fives here. There's three. Minus three, so three five ups. No, right, target destroyed and do not explode. Oh, not this time. Okay, land raider destroyed. So, uh, we have pushed those forwards, uh, a breakthrough here for the Necrons, a chance for them to go after the home objective for the Death Watch, but it's a bit of a, a mirror image across this side. Necrons trying to hold out as the Death Watch close in on their home objective. So it uh, uh, swings and roundabouts here in this game. Uh, it's morale to resolve across the board, none. Secondaries picked out uh, two points for Vermin over here. Uh, so we'll get a measurement... Maybe we've picked up another two points for this table quarter. All right, so Aaron's just working out points. It's quite tight here. Necrons have picked up two table quarters here for uh, the Vermin secondary. This one, because its units hold within. Aaron's uh, a couple of units are just lipping over into the quarter, but they're not holding within. Aircraft are excluded. So two points for that quarter. Two points for this quarter. So four points picked up for that. Uh, it's another vehicle is destroyed. So three points picked up for that secondary as well. And again, bearing in mind both sides to potentially uh, fulfill well it's whoever does it first because if you fulfill yours you'll stop me from fulfilling mine if I get to you first and clear that one and continue to hold mine then I'll get the point so it's a race against time here as well so a good uh, twist going on in this game we're going to turn three now for uh, the death watch and the score is is uh, 20 to the necrons and 14 to the death watch oh we're ahead we'll see how long that lasts turn three for the death watch next All right, so turn three here for the Death Watch. Uh, ten points picked up for primaries. Uh, just to mention, uh, we've both destroyed two units each, so Aaron picked up no points for grinding them down on the previous turn. Uh, so still in hover mode, banking round here with the Corvus Black Star. Closest model is the Scorpec Lord. Uh, this squad with the Watchmaster has swung around. They should be able to gun down the Destroyers. The other squad's moved out still on the objective. Uh, but lined up to shoot against the destroyers as well, so they are in trouble. Uh, aggressors happy to hold on to this objective here. Uh, and then, okay, interesting move with these. They have swung around ma maintaining on top of the terrain, uh, but to lay down some firepower, possibly a charge from them as well, whilst 
watch Captain Artemis maintain his position on the home objective. So a desperate bid here on this side to defend the home objective. And then uh, it's the Death Watch trying to line themselves up here to clear this Necron objective in this corner. Who will capture the corner objective first is the big question now. Uh, we'll go on to shooting phase now for the Death Watch on their turn three. Okay, so here we go. Veteran squad's going to try and finish off the destroyers. Should be able to get them. It's frag rounds being fired. Uh, so that's that's auto. Auto hit. Yep. So is, uh, <laughs> okay. Strength six. Fire toughness five. Three to wounds. Looking really good. Seventeen. So that's fourteen. At minus one. Okay, and it's assault doctrine now, isn't it? So minus one. Yeah. Uh, ooh, that's a really good roll. To the point where we have kept some. No, we haven't. <laughs> We've got a wound on there. Oh no! Uh, does that deserve a command reroll? I don't know if there's any point because Aaron's going to get the wipeout. We can't use our reanimation protocols, so we'll remove them. From play that's the end of the destroyers yeah no that's wiping out a unit that's not put me off from collecting more i don't think i need to get more of those models and have a big unit six to make them a bit more durable but they're gone so uh, mission accomplished unit wiped out well done right so this is the important one here can the scorpec lord survive against the corvus black star because uh, if he goes it's just a tiny unit of necron warriors which will easily be destroyed here and aaron should be able to get to this objective okay so i saw cannon uh, five. Fives, yeah. Uh, but re-rolling one. One's, yes. Because it's the ground target, yep. That could be enough to kill him. Force to wind. Okay, uh, that's five, minus one. Yeah, four ups. Yeah, two wounds taken, we're still alive. Hurricane Bolter. Hurricane Bolter's next. Surely he's going to do it. Oh, wow, brilliant dice roll. Okay, well. Fives, yeah, yeah. There's loads of hits. Fives to wound. Okay. <laughs> uh, five again. Three ups. Oh, no. He's dead. So, model removed from play. There is a stratagem resurrection protocols here from the new Necron Codex, uh, but it's only for Necron Noble units and Cryptex, and he is neither of those, so there's no chance of trying to resurrect him back to play. That is a deadly blow here. This Necron flank is surely lost. Just one small unit of Necron warriors remain over here. So, we'll press on. To f with firepower, I don't think the aggressors have any targets, so we'll switch over to this side. What a contrast here. Necron's looking strong, uh, but Aaron has this tough, durable veteran squad with its firepower next. So they're going to uh, throw all of their shots into the Trike Praetorians. So that's the frag rounds. Uh, no, it's going to be the shell round. Going to go for shell, okay. Well, I have to. They're out of range. Oh, right, okay. Yes, they're a bit further back, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, these are actually strength nine because they're half range. Um, no reroll ones. So three wounds at minus three. Ouch. Sixes. Yeah, blocked one. Damages. Two. Damage two. Okay, so we'll remove those two just there. The ideal world is the wipeout, but I don't think that's going to happen. Shouldn't do. Tons of shots here of storm bolters next. So half our rounds. The rear ones against ah no 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 ground target are oh, they they're uh, but Artem Artemis maybe. Okay. Yes, yeah, out of range for that bonus. Rear in the ones. Two's to win though. Okay. Uh, six. And minus three ups. Right, that is it. I've been told off before for blaming dice, but oh, can you? <laughs> you can't. They're not. This. They're just. You can't blame dice. But um, two more models slain. Oh, and a wound taken. 
It's good shooting. Aaron's wrecked that unit. Okay, so any more shooting? shooting yeah. Okay, shooting phase is finished and, and shooting against that target's finished. So I'm going to try and resurrect some models here. So eight dice. Bound to resurrect at least one. <sighs> no! Okay, so they're all removed. Okay, so shooting phase finished here. We'll go on to charges. Is he going to charge? I think, I think you will, yeah. Okay, so uh, roll up the charge to see if that charge goes ahead. It shouldn't be too far. Um, six, really. Down one and one inch. Yeah, no, fine. Be in. No problem at all. Okay, so here comes the charge. Yeah. And it's an eight. We've got a combat. Okay, so a uh, charge has gone ahead. Party moves being made. Swinging around. That's just good. Okay, so really, it's... What can the Thunder Hammer do? It's the big question. He is the one to he's the one to uh, take out Triumph Praetorian models. Uh, it's Assault Doctrine now. Is it going to be AP minus four? Yeah. Oh, okay, if you can get the hits with this thing. So uh, three attacks with, from the Vanguard veteran now. Is it minus one to hit rolls? It, it would be just a normal Thunder Hammer. Thunder Hammer, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so just the... Um, hmm. I might CP reroll. Yes. Yep. If it's okay, just the one, twos. No, it could be threes to wound. Because <laughs> we're tough as five. Yeah. Yep. Nothing. Oh, no. You've got yourselves in. Co oh, no, you'll be alright. You've got Storm Shields. You'll be okay. Uh, no, I need to calculate the rest of my attacks. So yeah, a ton of other regular attacks here. Yeah. 10 and 313 attacks. Yeah, 19 attacks for uh, veterans on the charge here. 14, 15, 17, 18, 19. So Aaron using the Forge Bane dice here. Okay. Yeah, two. It's toughness five. Toughness five, okay, yeah, two. Three ups. Double six. Okay. Um, we fight back. Yep. Yeah, the Triumph Torrents, four attacks each. But Aaron has these in one saves, so should be able to bounce off most of these coming through. Uh, threes for hits, not going to use any stratagems here. Threes for wounds. So, one at a time. Currently, uh, these marines are one wound each, so uh, three ups. This is the invent saves here. Past that one. Past that one. Finally, one makes it through. And one more. Two have made it through. Okay, so two models slain, but uh, they're holding back the Triarch Praetorians. If you didn't have that Invon save, there would have been a lot of trouble for that squad. All right, so combat's resolved. Bit of morale to do here. I think I'm a pass here. If I roll a six, it's, it's still going to be a pass. Yeah, so they'll be fine. Uh, and Aaron's going to pass with that squad as well. So all, all is good for morale. All right, so turn's finished. Uh, so wipeouts then achieve this turn. The score pick Lord's gone. Destroyer's gone. Destroyer's gone. Yeah, so two points picked up for that. Uh, oh, no, no points picked up. Yeah, no, two targets destroyed. We'll bear that in mind to see how many targets the Necrons can destroy. And any other secondaries picked up? Um, yes, I'm in three table quarters, so I'll get another two for engaging all front. All right, so some points continue to flow in. Turn three next for the Necrons. All right, so movement complete. Necron Warriors holding where they are. Uh, we used his ability to uh, add uh, another model to the models back up to full strength. Uh, my will be done has been granted to them as well. So just need to put a marker next to them. So plus one to their hit rolls once more. Plasmancers has moved forwards. I need to do uh, three dice. Four pluses for mortal wounds. None this time. Oh, they would have been so useful against that squad. Triarch Praetorians have remained in close combat uh, against the veteran squad. Uh, jumping forwards here with the Cryptek. Tamimral's on his own. He's going after that objective being held by Watchmaster Artemis. 
And Team Blazer swung around to try and provide some kind of firepower support in this direction. Necron Warriors happy to hold where they are. Going to try and put a volley to bring down the Corvus Black Star. Let's move it done. Shooting phase for the Necrons coming up next. So 12 shots here. Let's try and bring this thing down. Looking for threes. And then looking for fives. Ooh, we may have done it. Add uh, AP minus two with four dice. Got him. Yeah, he's gone. Does he explode? No. All right, but Corvus Black Star destroyed. Team Blades next. Uh, 12 shots here against the veteran squad. So, not too bad. Threes to wound. Ah, uh, yeah, so six saves. Aaron will tank it on his invon. Or not. One makes it through. Uh, CPU roll. Here comes the CPU roll. No. No. Passing the others to model slain. Okay, so two picked off. Alright, so we've both made a mistake here. Um, tactical. Uh, here it's Aaron regretting not playing. Only in death to... No, 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 it's um, Honor the Chapter. Yep, so fighting again. And my regret, I should have pulled these out of close combat and used firepower to bring those down. But uh, we'll fire pistols here with the Triarch Praetorians into close combat. Two shots each. And then threes to end. You never know, we could pick another Marine off here. I'm going to roll up on... One's got through, and another one's got through. <laughs> Two models slain with the Triarch Praetorian pistol firepower. Okay, interesting. So everything else out of range can't see. Ongoing combat. Taman Ra can just about see through to Artemis. So we're going to shoot to him with the Gauls cannon. Twos. Uh, threes because of the cover, but they've got their hits. Threes to wound. Have I come on me rolled already? You don't think so? No. Okay, here it comes. Threes. Yes, three have made it through. We'll just remove that. Come on, point. Four. Four up in one saves. Two make it through. Damage is five. Artemis could well be in trouble here. He is. is but he has a six up field. Oh, because it's going to be tight. Come on. Yeah. Double six. Well done. Three wounds taken. Good play. Okay, so Artemis just about survives. Right, so charge is taking place. Uh, it's ongoing combat across here. We're on a 10 for our charge. Tamra has gone in, so we've reached the enemy objective first uh, here in this sort of race that's developed in this mission. Going to try and take on Artemis uh, with Tamra himself. Five attacks with him for his warlord trait. An extra attack. Twos. They will hit. Twos to wound. An extra plus one strength for our warlord trait as well. So those have made it through. It's AP minus four and two damage. Past that one. Failed that one. It's a different phase. So, come on, reroll. No. Nope. No. No, oh. no, no. You've got the full no pain. So, yeah. still a chance. <gasps> no. Two damage each. Two damage each. Need a miracle. No. All right. Artemis is gone. And the objective's been cleared here by the Necrons. Critical point here in the game. Yeah, that's not a good situation. It's going gonna, it's gonna to mess up primaries. To some degree, no, because Aaron's got this one. He's got two still, so that's, that's not so bad. Tips it around where Necrons are going to control more, though, uh, and some of the other secondaries and so on here. But uh, Necrons, that is a good result from them. Uh, it's actually your turn to fight next with your squad against my Triarch Praetorians. We'll see if the Thunder Hammer works this time. No. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Oh, dear. It's, this could be uh, a chance to fight again. We'll both remember to use the uh, honour the chapter this time. Fives. Yeah, triple six. Nice. Three ups. Wound caused. So I've just got to resist my attacks. Then if he survives with the Thunder Hammer, it can potentially fight again if he wants to. Uh, so. Four attacks each. And if we get past those invon saves, how many left? 
One. And it's the Thunder Hammer guy. Yeah. Oh, what a cruel twist. And do you know what? You're going to be judged by the Triarch. We're, <laughs> we're going to go for two to hit here. Yeah, it's helped keep some of those hits. Look, four of those would have been misses. Uh, three to wound. Because that strength five is so useful. Ten. Oh, it's the chance to bring this unit uh, down here. Um, regular Marines. What's the minus? Minus three. Okay. That's those two good. That's them gone. He really wants to get the Thunder Hammer alive. Yep. And he's gone. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> Target destroyed. Triarch Praetorians uh, have won that fight. Yeah, so they sit where they are, uh, just maintaining position on this objective. But uh, morale next. These Marines, I don't think, are going to be affected. Two casualties taken. And uh, now I have morale to resolve across the board. So points to bring in. Uh, vermin points being picked up now. Yeah, one, two... And those guys are fully within. So and him as well, yeah. So uh, just another four points picked up for that. Um, you did pick up another three for bring it down for taking the other. Corvus pieces. Black start, and then points flowing in for that as well. And do we the secondary surround them? Has uh, that been achieved yes, yet? Yes, you have got. Right, yeah. It's worth four points, I believe. Yeah, it's end of your command phase or end of the game. So I'd, we've got to hold on to that objective until the start of our next turn, pretty much. And hold on to this one <laughs> as well, okay. So, oh, so much effort to try and get the secondary, but uh, it's still not secured uh, at this point. So, uh, end of turn, we're going to turn four now, later stages of the game uh, for the Death Watch. Yeah, so we're on turn four now for the Death Watch. Uh, again, grind them down. Uh, Aaron destroyed two of my units. I destroyed two of his, the Veteran Squad, and Artemis, and also even the, the Corvus Black Star as well. So points not picked up for that. But let Aaron make his moves. There's no Death Watch in this half of the table. Uh, but controlling objectives and the opportunity to try and clear the Necrons of this one. The downside is, though, is that even if you do go after this objective... You're not holding the home objective, this is the problem. No, but it will mess up my plans. Yeah, right, okay, so press on. Uh, the Death Watch will continue to fight. Okay, movement's complete. They've, got, they've gone up across this way. It should be a quite straightforward charge to take place. Uh, or firepower could uh, destroy those warriors. Holding here with the aggressors, kind of stuck really. Need to hold on to objectives uh, for these primary uh, points being picked up. And veteran squad camping out on that objective as well. All right, so shooting phase next. Okay, here it comes. Here comes the 46 frag. That is 14. 14 hits. This is here against these stranded, isolated Necron warriors. 14. To wound. Uh, this is strength 7. Or 6, sorry. Threes. Three, three. Oh, it's loads. Uh, minus 1. Okay. Uh, so 5, 10, 12. Five ups. You've done it. Wipe out. Objective clear. Well played. Okay. And that's the end of the turn. There's no charges to take place. Target's been destroyed. Uh, no firepower available. So it's a case now of wrapping up the turn. Uh, so... I don't get any extra secondaries because uh, engaging all fronts I need to have... Three. Three table quarters, yes. Um, so just to bear in mind, one Necron unit destroyed here for grinding them down. Okay, so turn finished. Uh, we'll move on quickly now to Necron turn four next. Alright, so turn four for the Necrons. Sensing that they have this one, uh, Necrons now starting to try and sweep across in this direction. Team Blades have gone aggressive. As the Triopatorians have jumped across, possible charge. Uh, Cryptex jumped up to use his Relic the Voltaic Star for this direction. Uh, Immortals camping out on this objective with the Plasmancer. And Necron Warriors holding here. Tamim Ra just happy to hold on to that objective. 15 points picked up now for primaries uh, for the Necrons. So uh, their points tally really increasing now in the later stages of the game. We'll go on to their uh, shooting phase next. Okay, so we'll fire the, the Relic the Voltaic Lance down this direction. In threes. 
Uh, three is to wound. One comes through at minus two. And passed. Okay. Uh, so then we'll go on to 24 shots now with the Tomb Blades with that Gauze Blasters. So looking for threes. It's good. Towards the end of the game, there's a nasty dice roll there. And then, of course, I just sixes there. If that was Tesla. Would have been a lot of shots come through. Uh, threes to wound. Uh, fours to wound. Strength five, toughness five. Yeah. Six, eight, ten. Twelve at minus three. Minus two, and then a further minus one because of Mephrit Dynasty. Uh, one dead, two dead, three dead. That's, that's a killer. I know, they've killed them off. Aggressors. Gone. They did their duty, held on, holding on to that objective, kind of pinned them down for a while. But uh, nasty stuff hit from uh, the Tomb Blade swinging in at the later stage of the game. It's been handy to keep those alive. They sort of backed off uh, during the battle, uh, but they've made their mark now in this game. Uh, that's it because of range, out of range of other units, no charges to take place. Our original target here is gone, so turn's finished. I reckon the game's finished as well. Uh, we'll work out points now for secondaries for the Necrons. Uh, four points again for Vermin Cleansing. Uh, and we, we're not going to get it. We're not going to get our, uh, the secondary here for this mission because we haven't held, held on to that objective in that corner, so neither of us in the end able to pick that one up. But uh, we'll get a final point score here. Necrons have victory, we'll just get a final score. Okay, so final score, 56 points to the Necrons, 36 points to the Death Watch. It's not a complete uh, whitewash here, a respectable score uh, on both sides, but uh, it was it, the game hung in the balance, didn't it? First few turns, could have gone either way, uh, but Necron's secondary started to kick in quite nicely for them. Uh, that purge the vermin was yeah, useful. Was nice flow of points picked up for that. In fact, Aaron, you can tell us what purge the vermin picked up. 12 points. Did pick us up 12 points. Okay, and then bring it down worked out quite well, destroying yeah. the big targets. Got nine as well, so Necron's secondary is uh, useful enough. Uh, and then making sure you're sitting on those objectives to keep the primary uh, points flowing in as well, even if it's just 10 points a turn that really uh, helps to keep the points flowing in and helped uh, the Necrons stay ahead. So the game's finished. Uh, two things to discuss. Units of the game. Yeah. You, Corvus Black Stars, okay, fair enough. Their firepower uh, is very swift across the table. Uh, their firepower can be directed very quickly against targets and they caused early and significant damage against the Necrons, so good choice. Uh, for the Necrons, uh, Tomb Blades did okay. Perhaps some experimentation with the loadout for those. Uh, but for a unit that got stuck in and helped the units to break through on this flank to give it to the Triarch Praetorians, uh, that unit was... Uh, it was good against everything it charged into. Even a land raider managed to strip away multiple wounds and then onto the veteran squad and survived as well the firepower that came in against them. So Triarch Praetorians uh, get unit of the game for the Necrons. And then the other thing to discuss is the Codex for the Necrons. Um, it's hard to say, really. There's This is the shape of things to come. These Codexes are a complete overhaul here. Virtually all the units have had rules changes, uh, not just the new models coming in. Uh, new rules across the board as uh, here on Warlord traits, Relics, uh, Arcana that can be taken for Cryptex, uh, Army-wide rules, Dynasty rules all changing, and then individual units rules changing for them as well. There's so many different combinations uh, and new units to try out, uh, so it's been very hard to tell in this game as to how much weaker or more powerful than Ekrons have become, but it's definitely an army of potential. Uh, but there's some great combinations uh, to discover uh, and to experiment with for sure. But in this particular battle, the first game of the new codex for the Necrons, they do have victory against the Death Watch Space Marines. So, great battle. Thanks for watching and tune in next time.